All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. And let's get right into it. NBA 2K21. Overnight, they decided to change timings on shots. They changed the location of the shot meter. They changed all this stuff, man. So many changes have been made to shooting in general that a lot of people haven't noticed. You probably just thought the jump shot was broken. So like, like, I didn't do anything wrong. What ha Something happened, man. I'm going to tell you all about it right after this. Leo! Make it to C25, that's OG status. OG I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me upset. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that habit. Alright, so as usual for these chases on the case, people, man, bro, I'm so sick and tired of having to do this when I when I play this game, man. Like this this hand cam is getting old. I'm tired of people really thinking that that uh bro why I gotta stretch. Why do I have to cheat? I don't get it, but it is what it is. Anyway, man, a lot of people have been asking me, Jay, did, did something change? I played the game, I did this, I did that. If you watched my jump shot video yesterday, you know. If you didn't watch my jump shot video yesterday, you may not know. And uh, this is what happened. 2K decided to change the location of the green. The green location used to be straight down. So you used to pull it straight down. Now you have to pull it straight down and a little bit to the right, like, like, like here. So instead of it being straight down in here, you're gonna have to pull it straight down and a little bit to the right. And uh, that's, that's what's gonna give you a green. Cause look, straight down, it says I'm slightly left. When I'm pulling it, I'm literally looking at it, pulling it straight down. It's telling me I'm slightly left. Look, straight down. It's saying slightly right now. Like, and I thought it was just me. And that says wide left, that's straight down. So what has happened is 2K has, has decided, and maybe they do this, maybe they do this before, um, you know, big events and stuff like that. I bro, I, oh, I'm out of frame. Bro, I, I don't know why they do this stuff. I have no clue, but maybe they do it before. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm in the same location every single time. It really feels like they decided to just randomize the uh, the location of green on the shot stick. Now I know the location because I can hit it. I can I can pretty much hit it a lot. So they said a little bit right, but the problem is it used to be absolute. You used to be able to just pull it straight down and boom, you was good. Now. It, it, I don't know if it's going by speed or something again. I don't know what it's going by. All I can tell you is that the location of green has changed ever so slightly. And I don't know why Mike and those guys that make the changes to these games feel like it's like, okay, obviously it's okay for them to do anything that they want to, right? But why don't they just tell us? Like that's in the same exact spot they said, why, right? Why don't they just tell us when they do something hey guys uh, like how long does it take to put out a quick tweet hey guys made a made a couple of tweets to shoot this morning let me know what you guys think godspeed mike wong like that's all he has to do but instead of doing that they make the changes you see that you see the update uh and i shoot in here like i shoot in here for hours every day every single day trying to find the exact way to hit this green every single time because i feel like the only way to get better at this is to practice so this is what i do i come in here and shoot all day every day but while i'm shooting sometimes i'll get that update uh i like like the other morning on uh, friday morning i was shooting i got update required and when that update required came through not only was the location of the green of uh, the green location a little different but also the uh the green window was a lot tighter as far as shooting with the button Obviously, I can shoot with the button too. Um, as far as shooting with the button, and as far as shooting with the uh, shot stick, the 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 green window seemed to be a little tighter, and it could just be for my jump shot. But not only are the green windows a little bit tighter, it feels like it just feels like it just feels like I, I don't know, like I'm making fewer whites. Um, and 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 the reason I'm saying that the, that the green window is a little bit tighter on the shot stick is because. The margin for error is, it used to be pretty big. That was, there used to be a pretty big big margin for error. Now it seems like the margin for error with the shot stick is, is microscopic. And I don't know if they're doing that to the point where they like, 
okay, so if people were cheating and we changed the location of the green of the of the green zone or whatever, if people were cheating, they'll probably just give up on it. If new people were trying to learn it, they'll probably give up on it because we're gonna phase it out. I, I really don't know. I don't know, but I tell you one thing. I was talking to Brute this morning and we both agreed. We was like, bro, I don't know if this if the shot stick thing was good or bad, just because of the fact that that um it's just bringing way too much scrutiny to the community and everybody seems like even though everybody been seen since 2k a lot of people have been seen since 2k 17 and uh 16 when they moved over to uh to playstation or to xbox and they wanted to use their same control and they've had chronos since then even though people have, have been doing that since then uh and and scripting the button and scoring like stupid amounts of points and getting getting popular on youtube hitting impossible shots all this stuff but now now that you know the shot stick is in the game now it's a problem it wasn't a problem when a few people were doing it i guess is what they're saying and making millions off of it and doing all this stuff and making people think they were better than what they are but that was that was cool then but now that now that now that you know you got a couple thousand people that are actually like the same people that was good they're trash now and uh and then now you got people that that's just using the shot stick or whatever I, I guess it's okay now like like i don't know it is what it is but like I said, people really have that, that the misconception that you can only shoot, you can only cheat with the button. Bro, you can, you, I mean, with the shot stick, you cheat with the button too, bro. It just is what it is. It's one of those things where it's, it's been in the community, it's been happening, but if you do, you, will be, you wouldn't be like me. When I came in here, like I said, I came in here yesterday, I immediately felt the difference. Like, that green zone to pull down on this stick is so tight right now, pause. It is so, small right now that a lot of people I feel like are going to give up on the stick and I've been telling people to try it but look let me just let you know you don't have to have a perfect center in order to uh in order to green it man you got to come in here and practice obviously but when you're doing this um the main thing that you want to focus on is getting perfect timing see that's right but that's going to go in because I had perfect timing on this shot only thing I don't like is and if Mike you're listening I know you are because you love these videos if if um we could get the timing on the court in here so we could know that we got good timing or whatever like obviously the one way to know is if you if you hit all net right so if you see the shot go in and you hit all net you know you had pretty good timing but we just don't have like like shot stick users we don't really have another way anyway man i just don't get it like why do we make changes to the game don't tell anybody about it and then just 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 be like, oh, nothing changed. Like, bro, we know something changed. There's too many people that play this game. I had too many tweets. I've gotten way too many people saying, bro, I ain't hitting no greens no more, you know, with the with the shot stick or whatever like that. Like I said, I know the location. I can probably hit it a lot of times, but now I'm finding if I'm trying to, if I'm trying to hit that location too hard, then it's gonna give me a wide right or a wide left. And that's why I'm like, they really feel like they it it really feels like they they tighten up the green zone and at first i thought it was just my controller but now i'm like nah with everybody telling me the same thing and asking me you know what i, I feel something different uh you know it is what it is you know what i really feel like they did i'm gonna be honest with you i feel like you know how we how uh nba 2k lab was saying a couple of years ago that that like only 80% of your whites are gonna be uh 80% uh, of your shots, even if they're perfectly timed, are gonna go in. I feel like they did that with the shot stick. So like now, if you're not using perfect time, like right here, I'm not gonna pull it down. I'm just gonna let it fly. Like that might go in, but I bet this next one won't unless I'm green it. See, look, that's not gonna go in, right? Because because um I didn't time it. But like now, when I'm pulling this with the trigger with it, it's gonna go in because I got the perfect time. So I don't know, I, I, maybe that's why they did it. I don't know why they did it, but they definitely did it. So if you feel like shooting is different and you were hitting with shot, you were hitting shots and you were doing well with the shot stick, but now all of a sudden you just not hitting as many um, centers or anything like that anymore, just know it's not in your head. Like I noticed it immediately. I came out here, I shot a couple shots. I said, wait a minute, slightly right, slightly left. And uh, you used to be able to just snatch it down quick. And not, like, it, it really feels like none of that works. Now, I'm gonna tell you that it didn't adversely affect my uh, my shot or anything like that because because that's going in anyway. Like, it didn't adversely affect my shot because we've been playing basketball guys today. And I think, what was I at? 66.9 um, yesterday, something like that. 
I'm mean, at 66 point something. I don't, I don't know what I was at yesterday, but now I'm at 66.5. So obviously it's not really hurting anything. It's just the fact that they make changes to this stuff and they don't tell us anything. And it's just not cool because what if somebody doesn't watch my videos like a lot of people don't and um you know what if they don't watch my videos what if they came in yesterday or came in the basketball guys today and they just was breaking and they don't know why we have no clue why what's going on or who changed it or none of this stuff all we know is something is different and we don't know so if you don't know what happened they tightened up the green zones and they moved the location of the green zone with the stick. So with regular jump shots, they tightened up the green zones a little bit. So the edge of the green, the, the center of the green window was still there, but the edge of the green window, they brought them in. Yeah, a little amount. But if you had good timing, you probably won't notice it. But with the shot stick, with, they did that. They, they brought it in a little bit. They brought the yellow zone in a little bit and they moved it a little bit. So if you have muscle memory built up, you're you're just gonna it's gonna take a while to get you back up to those greens. Anyway, man, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Cause like I say, if you think that you that something's different, it definitely is. They're not telling anybody, they're not saying that we got radio silence on it, but they definitely changed something. But anyway, man, I gotta get up out of here. I'm about to go watch a movie with my little boy. I appreciate all of y'all, man. Y'all really keep me going. Y'all, it keeps me motivated when y'all hit the like button, man. And um, it keeps me motivated to keep making these videos. And we're going to break through this year, especially next gen. I missed the beginning of the last gen, but I'm going to start doing a little. What do y'all think if I start doing the morning news live? What would y'all think about that, man? I'm thinking about doing that live with the chat and just talking to you guys almost like ESPN, like a quick 10 minute ESPN type thing. You know what I'm saying? Like Mike and Mike in the morning and come on. Maybe I can have a guest or something like that or whatever like that. Just easy with the morning news. I don't know, man. I'm just thinking of different ideas, but I'm hot at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy of uh, Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town. God speak. I'm thinking about man, man, and easy in the morning. That might work out pretty well. Hmm. We're going to run it all next week. Let's get it. Holla. Commence. It don't make cash and it don't make sense Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion So in that sense, I never value your two cents Hey, darn, please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn Cause I ain't fine I'm only 5'8", that's fine, nigga I could give a heart transplant to a giant I ain't lying, Godspeed We good